Welcome back. An accused baseball burglar is still behind bars tonight, and it turns out he has a past with the team. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office believes 27-year-old Zachary Hoffman stole more than $20,000 worth of personal items and equipment from the CSU Pueblo baseball team. Here's KRDO News Channel 13's Jonathan Petromala. Stealing is okay on the diamond, but not off it. All the balls and the bats and the gloves. And Autographed pictures of famous players missing from their spots in coaches' offices. Starting catcher Eddie Williams had the most stolen from his locker last Tuesday. It kind of hurts in the pit of your stomach because you know somebody went through your stuff that you care a lot about. His practice gear and iPod gone. He didn't take your catcher's gear, though? No, he didn't take. Well, I. I I think that probably smelled a little bit. But the baseball burglar did take his new catcher's mitt, a player's most prized possession. The most personal item in our sport, right? It's precious. <laughs> yeah, so pretty hard to replace. He knew that uh, that was valuable. Those gloves are $300 gloves. But in what may be the biggest catch all season, Pueblo County deputies arrested 27 year old Zachary Hoffman for felony burglary and theft. The team thought it was suspicious that the thief seemed to know exactly where to go. It's because he did. Hoffman is a part of the diamond of fame here. The right fielder was the RMAC tourney MVP back in 2009. Incredible player for us. Geez, he helped us win a championship. Although today much of the team spent time in between swings, signing police reports to try and get these stolen belongings back. Hopefully he'll, uh, he'll be able to get some help and they'll get him on the right track and you know, we can embrace him again down the road, I hope. A coach hoping to bring a former T-Wolf back to the pack. In Pueblo, Jonathan Petromala, Caradio News Channel 13. The Sheriff's Office believes players and coaches should be able to claim most of their property starting tomorrow.